Hello, Allison Lancaster of Online Business Solutions here. I am here to discuss using UTM codes within your Google Web Stories. We have been creating these web stories for almost two years now for our clients. We've seen amazing results. We've seen trends change, different things change, but we're still seeing really great results for our clients with these. And I also have a free community if you're not a member check the description of this video. You'll see a link there to join where you can ask questions. I do live Q&As from time to time. I'm, I try to be as active as possible in there to answer as many questions as possible. But it's a great resource if you're new to creating web stories or if you just have questions that pop up. I'm always happy to answer questions over there. But today we're going to talk about these UTM codes, why you need them, how to implement them, things like that. If you've been following me for a while, you probably have seen my previous video on how to set up and track analytics for web stories. It's still a great idea to create a new analytics property for web stories. That way you can see how many people are coming to your web stories and view a kind of a broad picture of the data on web stories. Now in that video, there is a older previous version of Google Analytics that allows you in this web stories property that we create in that previous video to track events. And so within that property, we were previously able to track how many people were clicking on a specific story and drill down on the data that way. Google has changed that. They've changed the way that they kind of have implemented that. So if you have that older property, that's great. If you're maybe newer to web stories or your property doesn't have the events tab or the events tracking metric in your web stories property, this is how you can drill down on the data even more. So again, it's still a great idea to set up a analytics property just for web stories, just so you can see how many people are viewing your web stories, things like that. Um, but this is how we are going to track how many people actually convert from your web stories to your website, to your blog, to the specific post. Um, what we do is for our clients, we'll implement UTM codes. And that's a great way in your main analytics property, you can view if you go to analytics and then you go there's a little sidebar to the left. You can click campaigns and you can see stories, web stories. Um, you can actually see how many people are coming to your site from your story. So, and this is the tracking metric. This is how we will kind of get that tracking available in your dashboard, your main analytics property for web stories is, is you need to implement UTM codes um, within the links for the stories that you're creating. So this is a tracker that I have available. I will link in the description how to grab this. You just enter your email and then you will have access to this. You will need to copy it. This is view only. Um, so you'll need to copy it for yourself. But this gives you the formula, the codes, everything like that. It's a great way to track your data. Um, and it's a great way to kind of automatically <laughs> create the links without having to go back and forth a lot or worry that you've messed up a URL. So what we do is if we take a URL from my website, we will just take a recent blog post, we are copying the URL, and then we will paste that in the post link here. And what you see is this is the UTM code. And this tracker, like I said, you can sign up in the description. Um, you just have to enter your email and you'll have access to this. The dis this link right here is the link that when you create your story, um, if you've watched my master class or if you're creating stories, you know that there is the option to add a swipe up link at the bottom basically of every story slide. You can also link different elements. Um, but this is the link right here where it's highlighted in green. You would take this link which has that you can see at the end, it has the UTM code appended to the end. So would, you would use this as your swipe up link, as your call to action in your stories. And then what happens is, is as people are clicking on those links in your stories. It's tracking that data in your main analytics property. So you can see how many people are actually converting from your stories to your website. This is a great method to do that. A great method to just kind of drill down on the data even more. Um, and like I said, I'm happy to share this tracker with you. I'll leave the 
sign up form in the notes in, of this video. And then I'll also, what I'll do is I'll put in the description of this video, the previous video I've made about how to create your own web stories analytics property. And like I said, I would still recommend creating that. But as far as drilling down the data, that's not something that Google allows anymore or has the ability to do anymore when you create a new property. So this is a great way to drill down on that conversion data. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for a done for you solution to web stories, we do have done for you services available. You can visit my website and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.